So how long is the rainy weather going to last? Allie M. Accord has a look at your extended forecast and Allie N., the wind also making it a difficult drive to work this morning. Yes, Kelly, and on top of that, the roads are extremely wet too now. So you throw the winds and the rain together, not making for ideal conditions as you get, of course, started with your morning commute. But I will say that the winds are going to be the first thing we start to see um, actually uh, start to decrease because the wind advisory is only extended until 1 p.m. today. However, the rain, it's going to go a little bit past that time frame. So looking at the current con uh, conditions with our wind gust, we're going to see gusts up to nearly 50 miles per hour, especially, of course, in the valley. So looking at uh, Chico, we're going to get the wind gust up to 40 miles per hour. Uh, but getting a little bit later, you're just going to see very, very gusty conditions. These are the kind of gusts that can knock down those loose tree limbs, uh, cause power outages, just also make for difficult conditions to just get through your Thursday. But you got to throw the rain on top of it. So we've got the storms moving in from that area of low pressure off the coast. And when we look closer, we are getting that heaviest rainfall now starting to move to the east of the I-5 corridor. So that means it's starting to move into the foothills and into the Sierra. So uh, heaviest storms uh, really moved in around five, but looking at Chico, just a few moderate showers still remaining, but we're going to be moving up. Redding starting in another round of those more moderate showers too. And the same story, of course, for Quincy. So this is the start for Quincy and Chester, where we're going to see nearly persistent rain throughout the day. And Mount Shasta also showing up some flurries there with the showers that are pushing through. And the rain coverage has been just been totaling up for us. And it's going to continue to total up to nearly three to five inches in a few spots. So you encompass the wind, the rain, and then also some visibility concerns. We've got fog starting to develop there along the valley, but the fog will clear as this rain continues to push further to the east. The areas I really want to focus on, of course, are the uh, foothills in the Sierra. That's where we're going to get the more persistent rainfall throughout the rest of today because us along the I-5 corridor, once we get through this batch of rain moving through now, we're going to see just more moderate showers, more lighter showers, not that heavy rainfall like we have now. But you're going to get see, see persistent showers and storms trying to develop there near uh, Paradise, Chester. Also, same story goes for Mount Shasta. The difference, though, is, is that we are going to see this all moving out by later tonight and just being really remained with more just lighter showers. So heading into our Friday, that's when we start to really start to see those dry conditions coming through. But you saw today is just covered with rain. So we're not going to get much in a way of a break. That's why we have, do have that chance for the possibility of flash floods today. So just have a way to get alerts if anything does turn severe. But when you compare that flash flood risk to the rain forecast, you can see how it really follows it along the foothills where that um, little bit of a higher risk is possible for it. So a lot of rain, of course, expected, but we're going to end up drying out just in time for for our Friday. So all those Friday night football games, good to go in Chico with highs tomorrow in the low 60s. But Saturday will dry out again. And then Sunday, we welcome another chance of rain. And of course, for Reading, we have the rain throughout today, but some of the showers will persist in tomorrow morning. But a brief break coming for our Saturday. So we'll get to enjoy the weekend just briefly before more rain moves in Sunday into early next week, Kelly. Yeah, I definitely going to plant some grass seed because it's going to get a good soaking from this rain, isn't it? <laughs> yes, and I think probably all the golf courses are pretty happy at this point, too, not having to run any sprinklers. Fantastic. Okay, thanks, Allie